Good morning everyone and welcome to this episode of Larry the Garden Fairy. I'd like to apologize for my my allergies. Uh, if I sound a little stuffed up, it's that time of year. But uh, today what we're going to do is take a, a quick stroll through Gatina's garden just to see what's going on. And I'm going to show you guys uh, with my cut flowers this year I ordered in 1500 gladiola bulbs. So I'm going to tell you about secession planting and uh, the benefit of it and hopefully you guys learn something from it. All right so this is uh, this is a look at the garden now from a quick view but we're just going to walk around and give you guys up and down the aisle real quick. These are the gladiolas. There's about 160 in each bag. And if you're wondering why they're soaking, that uh, expedites their <clears throat> sprout time by almost a week. So, you know, part of the energy of a gladiola bulb is uh, absorbing moisture to start the process. So that that's what you're doing. And this water actually happens to have uh, Lysol in it. If you are a gladiola person, you're uh, probably well versed in thrips. They're a tiny little uh, pest that uh, loves gladiola. So that'll help uh, kill any eggs from uh, the harvest time of the bulbs and uh, start off faster. So here we go. Snapdragons. Woohoo! Look at that. Pretty good success rate. There's some holes. Um, I did buy a few seeds from Etsy, and uh, if, you, any of you on Etsy that are very diligent about your product, I apologize, but uh, whoever I dealt with um, wasn't as diligent, and I probably had about a 30% germination rate, and then they weren't strong once I put them in. Amaranth here, Amaranth, that's going to get about four or five feet tall. It gets the long tails of seeds on them, you know, reds, oranges. These will look great in the bouquets. And then here, you guys, real quick, I'm just gonna walk down it. You can see these are sunflowers. To here is cosmos. The zinnias look great. The basil is took to the transplant really well. I mean, it just looks so healthy, you guys. I know it looks small. Thing with basil, once it catches its stride, it, it, it takes off. This here, the last corner, is the another, uh, I bookend the ends with Cosmos. There's four here, four there. And now I'll show you the, the project. Here it is. So these are the gladiolas that were planted on the 7th, two weeks ago. They've got a good head start on what's gonna go in the ground now, and that's called secession planting. And up here in Duluth, I have to be real careful with it because <laughs> we could have grow time until mid-September, early October. Uh, you just don't know up here. You could get a frost in, you know, first week of September. It happens, you know. That's what, that's what that big lake back there does. <laughs> it decides how hot and how cold it's going to be, and it can change that quick. So um, we're going to get the dirt move. This just continues down to the next swatch. There's going to be 500 bulbs put in from here to about here. And then the last swatch I'll be putting in in about two weeks. So that way I can have gladiolas for a, a lot longer period of time, not be panicking about trying to sell 1500 gladiolas. So that's what I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. I'm over 70 subscribers. Oh! <laughs> But uh, I, I really do appreciate any of you that, uh, I appreciate it either way, you know. But it, I, I do appreciate you, 
this much more <laughs> if you subscribe. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.